Welcome back. It's part three to our watch along of Rorschach. Rorschach! Uh, if you've seen this on YouTube, uh, you're, you're going to see a very cut up version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see a full uncut version, then you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the below in the pinned comments so you can go check that out. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie. And we the will. Movie. We'll do a. F maybe. 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 And uh, let's just finish this movie. Am I right? Yep. We stop this every 50, every, yeah, every 30 minutes. minutes. And just do another film. <laughs> Uh, Intro. Here we go. This is his therapy. What did Interesting family on your tongue. And a market and then me, did me, a lamb yantan. Any career, you would have done the end of one. ശരണോട് <laughs> കൂടെ ബാലഞ്ചേട്ടന്റെ കേസും പൊങ്ങി അതിലും അനില് പ്രതിയായി രണ്ട് കൊലക്കേസിലും പ്രതിയായ അനിലിനെ പക്ഷെ പിന്നെ ആരും കണ്ടില്ല പോലീസ് തപ്പുന്ന ലൂക്കിനെയും ബാലഞ്ചേട്ടനെ കൊന്ന കേസില് അനിൽ അകത്താവുന്നു പേടിച്ച സീതേച്ചി അഷ്റഫ് സാറിന് വിഷം കൊടുത്തു അവന്റെ പേരിലുള്ള ഒറ്റ ബോർഡ് പോലെ ഇനി പഞ്ചായത്തിൽ കാണല്ലോ നാട്ടുകാരെ കൂടെ നാണം കേട്ടാൽ ഇവനൊക്കെ ആരെ കൊന്നിട്ടായാലും കാശ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന ഒറ്റ വിചാരമുള്ള പാവോട്ടോ അവസാനം ഞാൻ അവനെ തീർത്തു സാർ ഇനി അവൻ എവിടെയില്ല ഐ ഓൺ അങ്ങനെ അയാൾ വന്ന കാര്യം നടന്നു പണ്ടേക്ക് വണ്ടേ ചത്തവനെ ഒന്നുകൂടെ കൊന്ന് അത് വേരോടെ പ്രതിദേശിപ്പിച്ച് അവന്റെ കുടുംബ കൊളം തോണ്ടി ഇനിയൊരു പുല്ല് പോലും പിടിക്കില്ല അവിടെ ഇനിയൊരു ദിലീപ് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല അവിടെ ഇനി അയാൾ 
പിന്നെ എന്തിനാണ് ചെയ്യാത്ത കുറ്റം എന്റെ ഇയാൾ അതിനകത്ത് കയറിയിരിക്കുന്നത് Welcome back. Wow. Wow. Welcome back. Well, I'm glad to know the therapy worked. I'm not sure. I'm not sure any of that was real. <sighs> I'm not sure any of it was real. I think, <sighs> I think it was all in the asylum. I do too. I think he, this, what, whether... any of what we saw actually happened right this is him processing processing and maybe hoping this is what happened or what he could do um and which is why i think he would be welcome back at the end it was kind of evident that this is was this was in my mind this yeah, is, and it, it, and he got resolution yeah that somehow whatever he went through that got him to the place where he was institutionalized somehow he got to the place where he could resolve the past traumas and be himself again. Yeah. I think he probably lost his wife. Well, yeah, I, I, I definitely think that. And happened. then that sent him and he, he lost his mind, but, or the, he killed her. because obviously there was a lot, of, right. He, it was, could have been him. There was a lot of talk about husbands and, yeah. and, and that kind of stuff, almost speaking in like a uh, kind of third person ish, Uh, like uh, him talking to a therapist or him talking to himself in an asylum. Right. Um, and so it leaves you with all those kind of questions. Um, well, and, and, and obviously the fact, obviously it was called heaven. Um, right. The, well, and the fact that he's wearing the, he at the very outset, when he first gets into what we were referring to as the mind castle. Yeah. And he's sitting on the therapist couch yep. per se. Yep. He's got the mask on. Yeah, he had the mask on. He had the mask on. And then everybody else who's there has the mask on. So, yeah. and what I loved, I was going to, I'm the, so it it's very Nolan-esque, but the difference is mm -hmm. Nolan messes with linear realities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was not necessarily linear realities. The film itself is patterned like a Rorschach yeah. test. Yeah. The film itself The story as it unfolds is like yeah. different pages of a Rorschach test. It's yeah. utterly brilliant. Cinematically see? brilliant. Which yeah. is uh, what do you why see? It's a, why it's a great name, obviously. Oh, what somebody goodness. what somebody sees in this film right. is completely different than what somebody, somebody else, else got sees. out of it. Right. They they could have just taken it at face value and that this was a that, real story. This is a real story. I I tend to think some of it was maybe you have to watch a few times to to really get the and I'm wondering if the director would even tell you yeah you know, with these style of films I would hope like, not I would hope not what do you think happened that's, yeah that's exactly. the that's one of the beauties of films right yeah is that um it does it takes you on an experience and lets you come to your conclusion of whether you yeah, liked that's, it or not Nolan himself said like for example with Tenet he doesn't particularly like to talk about fan theories because he doesn't like to bring resolution to things that he himself had no intention to have a resolution, resolution to for, yeah. yeah um but yeah it's it's definitely so interesting um well well done in oh. terms of blending what at least in my mind um is reality and um uh hallucination or just schizophrenia or whatever whatever he's going through or if it's just after death um uh there's, there's a whole bunch of different theories and, and rabbit holes i think you could go down um, did this did this come from other literary material or is this an original screenplay i'm not sure because i would love to know if when when they read the script especially Mamoudi. Oh, Kumbalanji Nights, that's what we saw. Okay. When, when he read the script and when Nassim Bashir read the, the script, did they see what the finished version was? And, and not only is it the, the direction and the, the story and the cinematography, but we said this throughout that the, 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 the score by Midhin Mukundan, 
was consistently tapping into shapes and shadows. Yeah. And it, um, was, it was super interesting that it was all in English. Yeah. That never happens in an Indian film. The fact that maybe parts of songs will be in English, but every single song yeah. was in English. Yeah. Which is a very interesting choice. And maybe it wasn't that deep with that, but that just, that's such an out of the left field thing mm -hmm. for an Indian film to do, not have it in your language, obviously. Well, and, and once again, just, uh, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Mahmoudi. Yeah, this is a great performance of his. Um, I just, the, the last three things we've seen of his have just catapulted him all the way up to the top for me of actors and producers who make things that are everything cinema should, in my I humble opinion, only... be about. About four or five into his biography yeah. as well, and uh, I'm sure I'm sure it would have been worth the drive. I, I'm looking forward to. We will watch. Oh yeah, we will, and I'm, I have no doubt. Yeah, but uh, and the cast I, was uniformly superb. But it also I might be. Uh, yeah, the, I thought everybody did real. I thought this was very. He gave many different vibes in this, which is obviously he was supposed to, because you're supposed to kind of question. Obviously, towards the beginning, yeah. is, is he and still. Is he the villain right. in this? Is he the hero? Is he the hero? Is he the victim? Is he the victim? Is he clinically insane? Right. Is this just... Is it PTSD out of a trauma yeah. he went through that's sad? Or is this guy a, have criminality? Yeah. It, yeah. I definitely think it's... I definitely think something happened to the wife, for sure. Yeah. Um, he's, he's clearly... That's the one through line that he's haunted by. Yes. Obviously, I think... She, I think something happened to and, her. And that is the one thing we talk about that. Whether he lived, though, through that trauma. Right. Or if this is in an asylum because he went crazy or died. Um, he also he also could have. He could have lost his mind, driven into the tree on purpose. And this was what he had to process in order to begin another life and that's the welcome back i think the welcome back is glad to see you've returned to sanity but you could also see this film as these are things he had to process before he was able to incarnate in an in, in reincarnation yeah and the welcome back was welcome back to being alive I, yeah I it's definitely, just brilliant i definitely think it's a it's a fun film to like if you watch it with a bunch of people and yeah. to ask everybody kind of their theory yeah about it it's one of the, think? it's i think it's one of those really fun films of like because i'm not sure i i can't tell you the, exactly what happened no but the, the one thing they showed us with the cinematography and the lighting and everything else the one constant aside from shapes and shadows with everything else was that whenever we went to dubai the murder his wife not it was it was not shadowy and shapey it was very, very realistic based. And anytime he was haunted by her, yeah. she was never shifty or shapy. She was the one solid thing. And oh. the and and whenever she appeared, well, except, she was always solid. Except when uh home is solid. It depends on how you're you're saying that. Obviously, like when she was laying on his lap and she Right. Moved over when her hand the times her arms appeared, it wasn't it wasn't ghost like. Yeah. It was very real. Yeah. I tend to think a lot of this was in an asylum. Me too. I think he was in it. I think he was the, in this the, whole time. And I'm not sure a lot of this happened. Um, at least this way. Um, I think it's very possible something happened to his wife. And then maybe he was going out and ran into a tree and died. Or or like maybe I don't know. hit his head right. and now is in the asylum because he's crazy and now he's going through what he think he would want to do to s get justice this would be such a fun film to watch with a bunch of people yeah and then talk for about an hour and a half afterwards yeah you definitely it's just a could. great great film um it's funny because I, I i a lot of people obviously i got a ton of recommendations for this um understandably so many but also there are some people that didn't like this film oh my stars um i think i saw i i i i I didn't see his review because I don't watch the reviews, but I went on Jimmy's uh, review. I think he saw it when it came out. I think he gave it like a six out of ten. 
So wow. I didn't, I didn't like I have to go back and actually watch his review because I didn't I just went to where he does the score at the end. And I saw that he did, I think it was like a six out of ten. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so he wow. didn't he didn't like it very much. Wow. Um, I have to actually watch his review to see if uh, what the reasons were. But then I've also heard some other people that they just like it was it wasn't their cup of tea at least. Um I find crazy because I I think it was absolutely brilliant, brilliant and a lot of fun. Maybe, but I think a lot of people some people don't like yeah, when they have to think too much, maybe. Yeah, of course. And I don't think Jimmy's one. Of them. I, I think it. Jimmy is absolutely one of those people that likes to think about. Uh, it just, it just, um, it just. It, wow. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a brilliant movie. Uh, there's people that don't like um, Inception, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, there, but there are a lot of layers. So if you if you're one of the people that likes closure, yeah. in your films, yeah, I don't, or or things having an explanation, yeah, like a full, like right. this is exactly what happened, yeah. I I don't. I no, li- I like that's why open to interpretation. That's why even things. when something is way beyond me, where I'm not tracking, like LJP's last, last film, film yeah. I still can walk away from it going, I didn't get it. But for those of you who did, that's awesome. Help me understand it. Maybe I'll I'll get it later. It was a pretty film. Yeah. Uh, versus, like, Tenet for me was <laughs> way beyond the pale. Um. But I thought it was uh, very well done. Um, over, I mean, the lighting, the score, everything. I liked a lot. Um, Mamoudi's performance in this was very different from everything else I've ever seen of his. Uh, I mean, very excited to see him in the horror film because oh, I think yeah. he could play creepy and really does well. really, really well and really very well. subtly, yeah. very subtly. Um, that's just why we're very, we were very excited to see that his current film that's out. Um, but maybe it'll be fun to watch with you guys and so you can see our reaction to it. Um, and all that when it comes out to OTT in like a month or something like that. Um, but everybody else I thought did very well. Very well. Um, the whole cast was extremely strong. Every single one of them. Um, Great cast. So huge credit to the casting choices. And the cinematography, the production the charts. production design, the VFX team. The lighting. Like when the, the, the mask was kind of going over. Yeah. There's, um, there's no flaws in the visual effects. Wonderful work with the stunt team. If there was any wire work, you hit it perfectly. It I did just. I also saw, saw some people say that the film was very slow. I didn't. Oh, I didn't get that. I uh, didn't get that at all. Maybe, maybe the trailer, and I don't remember the trailer. Going to be gonna completely honest with you, I don't. Um, well, gave off the vibes of like an action kind of thriller. Maybe, and maybe that's what they were expecting. And since right. we were kind of like. We went with, like we had no recollection of this film really at all. No, and uh, we and we've just come out of the pacing of Cothel the Core. Yeah, and so, so it wasn't. It didn't feel slow to me. Not at all. It felt like not like at a, all. Like maybe like a slow burn in terms of like I need to figure out what's going on. But no, that it kept me engaged. It's one of those time. films that you the pace is being controlled not by the runtime. The pace is being controlled by the cinematography and the score. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're you're you want to know what is yes. happening. And you're looking like I said. There's not a frame of film that goes by where you're not looking at every inch of screen, first of all, for some of the beauty. Yeah. But then you also recognize there's a ton of messaging happening that you might miss, like the Rorschach uh, shapes of the the mask getting bigger and bigger on the walls around it. I bet if you watch this film multiple times, you can see new things every time. So many different things of like, oh, that and they'll give you clues as to what is actually I, th- happening. This is a film I would excitedly watch over and over again with people who haven't seen it. Yeah, and I'm I know um I want to see everything movies ever done. So please obviously let yeah. us know what is huge fan. Um he had another film come out this year that we didn't see this. No, yeah, my, my just my respect for him as an artist is as high as it can get. Oh. I have such deep respect for him. The as wall. Artist. Um you know, if you haven't seen our review of the wall, please go please. watch that. And Cothel the Core. And Cothel the Core and see um, those films if you haven't seen those films. See, what was it? Um Mindscape. Oh, this post production in a series, I guess. Um not not that's the current one. Yeah. Brahma Yugam is the, the one we want to see. Kuntar Kuntar squad. squad. And then there was another Mala mm. No, we saw Nana Pakal Narathu Mayak. That's the L- 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 LJP film. Yeah. Um, Poos, who that one as well. This one right here. Say that name. Bishma Parvam. Yeah, th- and I think that one actually has Subin in it. Am I am I crazy here? No, it does. Okay, cool. Good memory. Uh, fa- oh, oh, fa- no. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, we thought it was Fahad Fasil. It was an F and then a Fasil at the yeah. end. It's not Fafa. And I was like, what? 
Uh, yeah, that one I've heard a lot about as well. What's next? Uh, you, and I know he has <laughs> a lot of classics as well that obviously he's been around for a long time. Line him up and we'll um, knock him down. I want to see everything he's done. Have we only seen? So obviously we've currently seen three in, within a, a fast pace of each other. The Right. Before. The wall. Well, no. Three no. within a fast pace of each other. Yeah, cough the wall, of the core, cough the of wall, the core, and this one. This obviously we want to see the the new horror, right? Obviously. And we but saw the LJP film last LJP. year. LJP, and then I think the only other one was the first one, and I think it was the it was called Paranboo, and it was with, with the little girl. Yeah, which I believe was actually a Tamil film. Could have been. I don't remember. Am I wrong there? So I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we've actually only ever seen five Mamudi films. I think you're no. right. Six. The um the uh it was the uh. uh, uh Sense and Sensibility remake. Oh, yeah. He was in that. He was in that. You're right. So I think it's six. But I think we're six for six in terms of liking his films. I, I don't think we disliked any of those. I believe you're correct. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you're and correct. And not just liked. I mean, the yeah. last three we've seen yeah, the past, have past. loved. Yeah. Cough of the Core and mm, The four. Wall. And... The last four. The the LJP film. Oh, yeah. The, the last four. Cough of the Core and now Rorschach. I no. love every one of those. Obviously, that new horror film, which we're very oh, my much goodness. anticipating. I'm hoping it gets broader distribution. Like I said, if not, we'll we'll, we'll definitely do a watch along nice. of it. Yeah, that would be very nice. Um, but it might be fun to just watch it with you guys like this. Yeah. Uh, you guys can let us know. Um, but... That was great. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like we did. Let us know with our next Mamoudi film. Um, for watch along, review, whatever. Mamoots. Uh, my next. Uh, um, Mamoots. We're in need of a Mamoot on the wall. Is he not on the wall? He's not on the it's wall. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. Oh. And we've gotta have him on the wall. Gotta have a Mamoot on the wall. Predominantly on the wall. Yeah, yeah, gotta yeah. do it. Yep. Um, but yeah, let us know what the next Malayalam watch along should be if with Mamoot or others. Um, let us know what you thought about the film, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your theories are, especially. Yeah. I'd love to know your theories on this. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you saw a very cut up version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, though, of this and other things, other Malayalam films that we've done watch alongs to, uh, please uh, look in the description and the pinned comment uh, so you can go check those out. And uh, on to the next watch along.